This abandoned warehouse might look rough on the outside, but in crisis, looks come last, necessity first. Ten days ago, 5,000 Iraqis, displaced by fighting in Mosul and surrounding areas, moved here. Yahya and his family were among them. He fled his hometown of Tel Afar with his wife, four children and few belongings when their town was bombed by armed groups. Yahya and the rest of the families here are waiting to fly to other Iraqi cities, ones that offer to house them. But being made to feel a refugee in your own country is heartbreaking. هاي الإحساس يعني اللي إحنا صرنا لاجئين يعني شيء صعب جدا أصعب من المرض يعني أصعب من الموت يعني شيء صعب ما شايفين هيك ظروف إحنا. In total, 300,000 Iraqis have crossed into the northern region of Kurdistan since June this year. Many are staying in schools, mosques, and hotels. Others in makeshift shelters like this one. Yahya had a chance to leave Iraq in 2006 to go to the United States, but he turned it down. He dreamed of building a new Iraq. That dream slowly fading. والله أنا أتمنى أن يصير عندي فرصة ثانية أطلع خارج العراق. يعني إحنا جربنا العراق كل خمس سنوات كل أربع سنوات. يصير فد مشاكل جذرية مشاكل كبيرة يعني مو صغيرة أحيانا يصير أحداث بدول العالم بس هذا تتلاشى سريعا ما يتلاشى لأنها راح يصير أكو بها اتفاقات نحن ما نتفق. As Yahya and his family prepare to move from this shelter to another, his dreams of a safe Iraq are suspended maybe even gone forever, unless a much-needed political solution is found.